And next time you're in Montrose, you might find yourself next to a car with nobody behind the wheel. Driverless cars are in Houston, but they're causing some major problems in other cities. ABC 13's Giovanni Ligi is live in Montrose for us tonight. Giovanni, there was an incident there just last night. Well, Erica, that's right. People said it was like watching a cartoon, watching these officers try and wave these cars through, only to realize that there was no driver in those cars. And now people who live in this area say that they are getting concerned and they're hoping the city will step in. Cell phone video shows driverless taxis tying up traffic for a short period of time in a Montrose neighborhood. City officials telling us the traffic lights were malfunctioning and were all red. So the autonomous cars stopped, waited, and never moved. I see uh, traffic back up all several blocks. And what do you know, there's three cruise cars in both lanes and the uh, center turn lane there. Houston Police Department officials tell us people called 911 to report the stuck cars. Police then showed up to try and help direct traffic. Once the police are there waiting on traffic, you kind of hope they move. It was almost um, a bit humorous. You know, these, these guys are trying to get uh, people around these these big metal boxes are just sitting in the street. It took about four minutes for the cars to start moving again. A crew spokesperson sending us a statement that reads in part, our vehicles are designed to adhere to traffic signals and follow rules of the road. But people who live here telling us they are worried about emergency situations. And these things need to understand that there's surprises on the road. The city of Houston officials and the crew spokesperson told us they are working to develop a protocol for emergency responses. People here think this should have been done before these cars hit the road, but a statewide law, Senate Bill 2205, passed in 2017, allows for them to operate autonomously. I think I would like to see people in the vehicles for a little bit longer. A Houston Police Department official said there's currently no protocol to deal with these cars, but said officers will enforce the law. I think it is a little early that they're uh, totally autonomous at this point. The crew spokesperson said he didn't know when the cars went fully autonomous here in Houston, but say they are not offering rides to the public right now. Reporting for Montrose, Giovanni Ligi, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.